So I was on my way home to Vancouver and the announcement came over the uh, aeroplane uh, speaker when we were halfway there. We are currently experiencing some technical difficulties and we'll be returning to LA airport to land and fix the plane. Great. So I don't even know if the plane's going to land properly. Anyway, I made it and I'm in the Marion Hotel in LA and I've got to stay here until tomorrow night and I'm kind of a bit shitty about it, but there's not much that I can do. So I thought I'd make this video. Anision did a video that was about when it's not okay to come out as gay and urging some people to stay in the closet. His handling of it was a little bit clumsy, but I do have a couple of points to make on it. When you come out, it's a very important thing that you know who you are. You've got to have all the facts because there's going to be a lot of questions coming at you from all people that you tell. Do your research, find out what it is to be gay. If you don't fit in with the gay lifestyle or the gay sort of like party scene, then that's okay. You don't have to. You can be your own and you can continue to be who you are, but just gay. The only thing that requires you to be gay is the fact that you sleep with someone of the same sex, male or female. But when is it not okay to come out? If you think that it's going to endanger you in some way, such as if your parents are going to kick you out, then it's probably a good idea to hold off telling them until you ha are in the situation where you can have alternate living arrangements. If you think that bullying is going to intensify at school, then don't necessarily come out to everyone unless you are 100% sure that you have the protection from the student body and also from the teachers. It's important for people from small towns to make sure that they have the resources available. So make sure that you contact any community centers that are local and get their backing first. Talk to people and see if there is someone there, like a counsellor, that you can talk to if you're thinking of coming out. Also, make sure that you ask questions from people who have come out. Make sure that they're people who have come out recently, because people who have come out, uh, let's say, 10 years ago, such as myself, that's a bit of a different story. Back 10 years ago, there was no will and grace, there was no sort of queer eye for the straight guy, and pop culture was a lot different then. I came out in 1997, and I didn't really have that many gay... I guess you could say, role models to look up to. There was no YouTube, and I think the only gay people that I knew of was Elton John and uh, Rupert Everett. Today, pop culture is different. There are a lot more people who you can relate to who are famous or who are in the public eye. Last of all, the biggest tip is to be comfortable with yourself when you come out. If you come out and you're still unsure and insecure, you're not going to be able to field any questions or any sort of points that arise because of this. Don't let this advice turn you off coming out. If you think that it's time for you, then do the relevant research, talk to enough people and make sure that you have a strong social network behind you before you make this step, and good luck. If you'd like to tell your own coming out story, please post a video response to this video. And as always, please use the comments as a way to communicate and ask for questions and ask for help. Until I'm back in Vancouver, hopefully, I'll see you next time.